Welcome to the 2017 review of Illinois' Weather, Soils, and Water. My name is Jenny Atkins, manager of the Illinois State Water Survey's Water and Atmospheric Resources Monitoring Program, or WARM for short. WARM contains four of the survey's long-term monitoring networks. And today we're going to take a look at the data collected last year from these networks, as well as data from the USGS and National Weather Service to summarize what exactly was happening here in Illinois in 2017. Last year, Illinois saw both floods and droughts in the spring, late April, early May. We saw flooding in parts of southern Illinois as well as northeastern Illinois. The Chicago area also saw further flooding in July and September. For most of the year, Illinois saw normally dry conditions, though, uh, with moderate drought occurring through in parts of the state for majority of the year, except for May and June. Severe drought was seen in the state starting in late 2017. We also ended the year with very cold conditions. Uh, the last week of 2017, temperatures averaged 8.8 .8 degrees. Which is negative 18, which is 18 degrees below the long-term averages. Parts of Illinois reported lows of negative 16 degrees during the last week. Overall, Illinois saw average temperatures for 2017 of 54.5 degrees. This is 2.2 degrees over the long-term average, making 2017 the sixth warmest in Illinois' record. Precipitation on average was drier than normal. We saw six months in which rains were higher than long-term averages and six months where it was lower than long-term averages. Uh, we saw particularly heavy precipitation in the spring with April being the wettest on record and October, which was the 10th wettest on record. September, however, was particularly dry, averaging only 0.78 inches or more than two inches below normal, making it the fifth driest on record. Soil temperatures followed what we saw with air temperatures. Looking at this graph showing the average soil temperatures at depths of four inches under bare soil, we can see the orange, which is what the average for 2017, uh, was particularly higher in February and March in the early spring as we saw the warmer air temperatures. We also saw increases in soil temperatures in the fall, September, October, once again as the air temperatures increased. Soil moistures went, uh, followed the trends we saw in precipitation. Looking at the soil, average soil moisture across the state at depths of two inches, the orange line, which is the average for 2017, we saw increases in spring when we had the heavy rains and gradually de gradual decreases over the summer, which wasn't expected. But we did see drier than normal conditions in fall in September and October, only to decrease as the rains came in the latter part of the fall. Uh, soil moisture is at 39 inches. At depths of 39 inches, we generally do not see much change over the course of a year at this depth. However, in 2017, we did see a general decline over the summer, and it stayed remained low over the fall and the winter. We're going to keep an eye on this as we get into planting season in 2018. Despite the drier weather, uh, groundwater levels actually averaged 0.25 feet above normal in 2017, making it the seventh wettest for groundwater levels in the past 15 years. Stream flows were um, above median for most of the year, most notably in increases in April and May as we saw the heavy rains, as well again as in October and November as we saw the impacts from the heavy rain events in late fall. In northern Illinois, stream flows were above average for most of the year. However, we did see fluctuation in stream flow averages in central and southern regions uh, with unseasonably low flows in September and December. Looking at reservoir levels in central and 
southern Illinois. We saw high reservoir levels in winter and spring declining over the summer, but we did have below seasonal averages at the end of the year. So as we move into 2018, so far January has seen both cooler and warmer than average temperatures. Uh, this is a graph showing the temperature differences from normal for the Champaign-Urbana area. And here we see temperatures ranging from negative 35 degrees below normal in the very cold first week of the year, rising to um, more than 21 degrees above normal as we moved into the late part of January. The National Weather Service Climate Prediction Center is uh, giving Illinois equal probability for above and below normal temperatures in spring 2018, essentially meaning that we're going to have to wait and see what happens in the spring. However, they are giving the entire state of Illinois above average chances for precipitation, which means we'll probably see some wetter weather in the next few months. Whatever happens, the WARM program will be here and monitoring throughout the state of Illinois. You can find more information on our website or in the Illinois Water and Climate Summary, which you can find online or receive by email by sending a message to jatkins at illinois.edu. Thank you.